Good morning. This is Mike Taylor from Taylor Toolworks. Welcome to my bench. Today I want to introduce you to this very unique drill bit. This is made by Viking Drill, which is a U.S.-based drill bit manufacturer, and they're called their Ultra Bore Acrylic Drill Bits. What makes them so unique is that they have this really gradual point here. So they're really good on thin material, uh, acrylic especially, but also they can work with wood. But what, what makes them work so well is this, this point, this gradual point that you can enter the wood and it slowly just enlarges the hole as you go through. And it's got this zero degree rake, very, very less aggressive cutting edge. So it doesn't chip out on the backside. It doesn't grab like you would experience with a lot of uh, when you're drilling thin material. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and do a test of these drill bits. I'm going to compare this ultra bore bit to this uh, high speed steel regular split point bit from Viking and we'll see how they perform. I'm going to do some uh, test cuts now. I'm going to drill this eighth inch thick acrylic. Got my drill press set at 490 RPMs. Here's the holes. I actually drilled it very fast there and it didn't chip out. You saw on this one, it just blew the corner out. Good morning. This is Mike from Taylor Toolworks. Welcome to my bench. Today, I want to introduce you to a pretty um, interesting drill bit. These are called Viking Vortex bits. They're made by a US based uh, drill bit manufacturer. They are designed primarily for steel. So, I know that most of my audience and customers are woodworkers, but there are times where you will need to drill accurate holes in steel, whether you need to repair a machine, install hardware, or build a jigger fixture. Having a really good metal drill bit will come in handy. And these are now my go-to bit for all my steel drilling needs. So if you ask any machinist how to drill an accurate hole in steel, they will tell you. You first start out drilling a smaller hole, and then you enlarge that hole or ream it out to its final diameter. That allows you to do is it allows you to be much more accurate where you place your hole. It can require less torque as you're drilling the hole, create less heat. And it also allows you to drill much more accurate hole placement of holes, but also uh, the final diameter of holes can be much more precise. So what this bit is, this Vortex bit, it is actually several bits in one. If you look at the tip, there's a small drill bit here, and then this bit slowly enlarges. It's like a step drill. So you start out drilling a small hole, and then the hole is kind of sheared and reamed out to its final diameter. So what this does is this allows you to drill holes that are 45% faster, requires less torque, creates less heat, which, and you know, heat is the enemy of sharpness. So your bits will stay sharper longer. It's easier to start. I can actually start it more on point much more easily because it's a smaller drill bit. So there'll be less wandering or walking as they call it. There'll be less grabbing as you exit the hole, and it'll create less of a burr. They can also be used to enlarge existing holes. And if you've ever tried to enlarge a hole with a twist drill bit, a regular twist drill bit like this, you know what I'm talking about because it can be quite exciting. And they're also good for uh, drilling thinner material and hardened steel. They can also work with wood. They're not bad with wood as well. They come in sizes all the way from 16th inch up to one inch. So there's a bunch of sizes available. Um, so this is kind of the standard bit that we would use, the regular twist drill bit. Um, this is high-speed steel, so it's a really high-quality bit made by the same company that made the Vortex bits. So what I'm going to do is just a side-by-side -side comparison, drilling a hole with this twist drill bit and drilling a hole with this Vortex bit. And I'll be drilling through this piece of three-quarter inch tubing with about a 3 32 inch thickness. So let's get started. Mm -hmm. 